Hi all, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Hinsey. I am 22 years old and I am a student at a very, very large university. And basically what that means is that I have got quite a bit of experience under my belt drinking. So this page, uh, barring on a budget, is going to be 100% dedicated to taking all of these drink recipes from across the internet in all different kinds of categories, etc., and making them and then judging whether or not they're actually realistic to make in your own home. So the twist here is that I'm not going to be going out and getting any fancy liquor. I'm only going to be going to small town liquor stores. I'm only going to be making these drinks with the things that I already have in my kitchen. Not gonna bother with garnishes, any of the fancy shit. We are just going to actually be getting to the core of what drinking should be, easy and fun. So, um, for this first episode here, I actually just chose a couple of things from a website that formulates drinks based on what you have in your kitchen. You can put in like the little search bar, um, all of the ingredients that you have, and then it gives you a whole lot of options. I actually just went through and picked a bunch that have really, really funny names. So in this episode and the next one that I do from this website, everything's just going to have a really funny name and that's really, really fun. So we're going to be reviewing three drinks today and without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so this first drink that I made here is called the Jedi Cocktail. I'm going to go ahead and assume that they call it that because of this really, really pretty blue color that I got. I'm just trying to show you here. Really, really nice, pretty color. It does have milk in it though, and I know that milk right now is not at all a popular ingredient for people, either for food or drinks or anything. I actually personally don't love having milk in my alcoholic beverages, obviously. I'm actually really okay with milk as far as digestion goes, but um, it's just like really heavy and there's just the, the whole idea of like having dairy and then drinking alcohol seems like a really, really bad idea. And here is a drink that is mostly milk and then it has a little bit of chocolate liqueur and a little bit of blue Zergo. Um So I think it looks really, really pretty. It definitely looks like something that I want to drink and I want to enjoy, but it does have that heaviness that I don't know if I could... So, cheers. It has a really odd flavor, but it's actually pretty good. It's not bad, but just because the flavor is so odd and it really is kind of rich, um, I don't know how many of these I could have. I don't know if I would really seek it out, but I would definitely be excited if somebody put it in my hand, you know, like maybe I wouldn't pay for it. But I had these things in my kitchen already, so I would definitely make it just based off of the things that I already have in my kitchen. So for this one, I'm actually going to rate it pretty high. I'm going to give it like a 9 out of 10, just because, you know, the dairy really takes it down one. But otherwise, fantastic. It is so good. So this one, definitely try at home. All right, so this drink here is actually called the Marijuana Milkshake. Again, I would like to point out that I did pick these drinks based off of finding their names really entertaining and compelling, and I would definitely want to know what that thing tastes like just based off of having a really, really far out name. So this is the Marijuana Milkshake. I don't know what that would taste like. It doesn't actually sound like it would taste very good. And based on the ingredients, I don't actually expect it to taste very good either. 
this is supposed to be a shot, a double shot, a two ounce. Um, I didn't realize that when I was looking at the recipe, so I just mixed it into a shots glass, but that's, I don't love shots. So this is usually how I take them anyways in a rocks glass with ice and then I sip them. So I love that it's strong, but I don't love shots. So I don't really have high hopes for this one. At the very least, I will say it is gorgeous. This could definitely be another uh, Jedi cocktail, you know, except for like the green lightsabers. Um, it does have milk in it. Again, um, like I had talked about before, a lot of people don't love to have milk in their alcoholic beverages. A lot of people don't love to have milk at all. So take it or leave it. I think that it could be really, really good. I think that the milk could really like neutralize the strong flavor of the alcohol. But you know, who's to say until we try it? Cheers. It's a little, it's a little bit spicy, like a shot. I definitely, the, the melon liqueur really, really is very strong. Um, I have Midori. Um, I think that it just in general has a very, very strong flavor. I have had some very, very rough nights drinking melon liqueur and maybe that's why I don't love the taste so much. But the drink actually not too bad. The milk doesn't taste bad. It does have a very interesting taste because it is literally just milk. Uh, chocolate liqueur and melon liqueur and the chocolate and the melon are not usually flavors that go together but I think that the chocolate and the milk would go together and then you know the melon liqueur added an interesting twist but not one that I dislike again I would probably have one I would rate it kind of highly because I think that the taste is really interesting um doesn't taste anything like marijuana so that's definitely named poorly but i love it i definitely find the name very interesting and fun so um yeah I'm, i'll give this one maybe like a six or a seven i was reflecting on how highly i rated last time but the thing is i would really only drink one or two of these i wouldn't drink them all night which is disappointing but they're really just not refreshing enough to be drinking consistently throughout a night and i think that your stomach would really hate you if you tried to so very good drink, definitely try, especially if you're going for like aesthetics and you're like a pastel girl. Or Harry Potter's really been on the rise. Harry Potter's really, really trendy right now. And the Slytherin house, which is, you know, it's me, I'm a Slytherin. Um, they've been really, really popular lately. Everybody's been really like going crazy over Draco, Mal Draco Malfoy for some reason. So everyone wants to be a Slytherin, have all your girls over and make a delicious drink that is green and show off your slither and bride. I say why not? I think it was pretty good. I would definitely give this one a shot. Okay, so I know that I said that I wasn't excited for the other drinks before because they had milk in them, but I didn't realize how wrong I really was. I am really not excited for this drink. Um, so our final drink of the evening is called the Martian Hard On, and I thought that that would be hilarious, and I still kind of do. But this drink, it looks hideous. I know like with the lighting, it's not really showing its true color, but it's like tannish, but with like a green twinge in in there. Like it's, it's not a super, super attractive color for a drink. I definitely don't even want to drink this. Um, it is one part Irish cream, one part melon liqueur, and one part, what else is in there? Uh, chocolate liqueur. Um, so again, went really, really creamy. At least this one doesn't have milk, but it is really similar to the last drink, except it'll probably have a little bit more booze because it doesn't have any milk in it at all and it instead has Irish cream. But really, really similar. And the drink, the first drink was also semi-similar and that it really is just because, you know, all of these are made out of what I can make from my kitchen. So it does make sense that the recipes are all really similar. Um, uh, uh, a lot of different things going on in this drink. It looks so hideous. So I'm gonna have to take away some points just based off of aesthetics. This is pitiful. I 
I don't, I don't like it. It's not like terrible once it's down. It's just like putting it down that is just so unpleasant. And I had definitely, definitely approached it with the wrong attitude, that's for sure. Um, but overall, I do not love how that tastes when it first hits your palate. It is not super, super pleasant. Um, it, it's kind of ugly. I'll give it like a four, a three or a four out of 10 because it's drinkable. I would, I've definitely, I've had worse in my life. I can recall back in high school when I was drinking Vlad straight. So it's definitely a step up from that phase in my life, but this is not, it, it was not great. It was not very good. So the first two drinks I would love to recommend. I think that they were fantastic. Not like fantastic. I thought that they were fantastic, but they were very heavy. So approach with caution, but the aesthetics, super cute, very drinkable, kind of delicious. Three ingredients, all of them, I think, if not four, but really, really simple to make. And if you bought liqueur any kind at one point in your life for like a single drink, you're going to have it for the rest of your life because it, it goes in, you know, small quantities into drinks. So if you've got it in your kitchen, then you can definitely make something with it. And that really, really rocks. Um, I think it's really cool that we got to see some drinks that did work out, some drinks that didn't really work out. The Martian Hard-On wasn't supposed to be as ugly as it did turn out to be. Um, I was supposed to layer it on, but I'm not a bartender. I'm not gonna be layering my drinks. I, I pour my drinks for drinking them. So I'm not worried about my garnishes, I'm not worried about decorating my glass. Sometimes I might, but cause I have chocolate syrup, you know what else am I gonna use it for? So. I'm not worried about any of that stuff really. I'm not gonna put in the effort that it takes to layer because layering is pretty tough. I actually don't even think I could do it successfully. So if you can layer, awesome. Maybe you can make it look a little bit better and then take it as a shot and that would not be so bad. Um, the recipe was divided into parts. So it's not like you have to, um, you have to do like a, whole, a full shot of each thing. That's what I did just because I'm only using a shot glass to measure out my parts. Um, but yeah, there have been three drinks. Welcome to the first episode of Barring on a Budget, where I am showing you what you can make with what you got. Um, my name is Ellen Hinsey. I am your guide through this spirit journey into alcoholism, and it has been an honor and a blessing to entertain you for however long this video ends up being. Like, comment, subscribe with this video. Please interact with me. I would love to get some feedback. I am here for you, not the other way around. So please interact with me and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, where I can go with this in the future. And it has been fun.